Hello friends, my name is Edgar C. Francis. Welcome to Twitter Networks. In this video, we are going to see how to configure OSB of virtual link. So as you can see the topology. First, we configure the IP addressing and then we configure the interface using the multiple area as defined as per the topology. After that, we configuring the router ID manually as per our topology. And we will make sure that the loopback R11.net work should uh, be seen on all the other routers. So before starting this lab, I want to tell you something that uh, virtual link are used to connect this contiguous area to zero, area zero. A virtual link is a logical connection between routers. Okay. So virtual link are recommended for backup only, backup and uh, temporary connections. So first start the configuring the IP address. Okay. So on router one, we have one serial, one fastnet, and uh, three loopback interfaces. Okay. So leave this uh, loopback interface three. Okay. Now on router two, same way we are going to assign the IP address. Okay. Configure terminal. Here we have three loopbacks, one fast internet, and two serial interfaces. Now on router four, sorry, now on router three, configure terminal. Three loopback interfaces, one fast internet, and two serial interfaces. Okay. Now on router four. Router 4 configure terminal. Okay. So let's verify the IP addressing uh, starting from router 1. So IP interface, please. You see, three look back, one serial interface, and one fast connect. All are up. Now on router 2. So IP interface, please. All are up. Now on router 3. QIP interface 3. Okay. Now on router 4. We show IP interface 3. Okay. As of now, we have successfully configured the IP addressing. Now we are going to configure our OSPF. And we are going to assign the area as per our topology. Okay. So starting from router one. Remember the router ID is very important here. You can see the router ID is 11.1.1.1 where we are using. And 11 dot network is an area 10 here. And the fast 10 dot network uh, is an area 20, but there's no space left. So I put the in area here in area 10, but it is this, uh, this switch is an area 20. Okay. Remember this router ID 11.1.1.1. Okay. Now router two. Configure terminal. You can see on router two, all the networks is in area twenty. Remember the router ID here twenty two dot one dot one dot one. You can see the message. The neighborship is up between router router one and router two. Now on router three. Router 3, configure terminal. The neighborship is up between router 2 and router 3. You can see the 13 dot network is in area 0 here. And the 30 dot network 
which is fast to net is an area 20 and two dot network remember this router id okay 33.1.1.1 can see the neighborship is up post now router four all the networks is in area zero okay now we are going to see the 11 dot network which is in area 10 and you know the condition of this ospf area if you don't there's a link in the description box so you can visit it out i wrote everything about the osp virtual bins and other ospf stuff so starting from router one and come on so ip route first here you'll see the 14 dot network 13 dot network 12 dot network everything is here now router 2 to show ip route ospf you will not find 11 dot network here okay as well as on router 3 to show ip route ospf here also we router 3 is also not getting 11 dot network in its routing table we show ip route for spf okay router 4 is also not getting 11 dot network so what we are going to do is uh, create a virtual link just like uh, from router 1 to router 3 a virtual link not a physical link it's a virtual link okay so now on router 3 so we are going to create a virtual link between router 1 and router 3 okay configure terminal and okay you will see area 20, the virtual link, the 13, 13, uh, 1 .1 network, uh, router ID, which is this, uh, router 3 ID. On router 3, you will see the mismatch message. Here, the mismatch area ID. Don't worry, we will fix it. Router SPF1 and area 20 virtual link and 11.1.1.1, which is the router 1 router ID. You can see the neighborship is up. Here you will see the virtual link 0, the neighborship is up. Okay. Uh, show IP first here virtual link. You will see. Virtual link was with 11.1.1.1 is up. Okay. So on router one, show IP your sphere virtual link. There also the link is up. Okay. So we want that uh, 11 dot network should be seen in all these routers, router two, router three, and router four. Okay. Starting from router two. Before considering the virtual link, there is no 11 dot network, as you can see. Now, after considering the virtual link, we show IP, OSPF, sorry, we show IP, route, OSPF. Here you will see the 11 dot network, as well as on router 3, show IP route, OSPF. Here also router 3 is also having 11 dot network now on router 4 to show ip route was router 4 is also having 11 dot network so now remember the virtual link are recommended for backup or temporary connection only okay
So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching this video.